Hey guys, back about six years ago, I did a video on this water heater. And this is an EcoTemp L10. Now, I will put you a link down at the bottom. You need to buy these from the original company. There's a lot of knockoffs. This video was in May of 2016. I'm going to put a link to it right up there of an unboxing of this water heater. Now, I took it with me down here to Texas, and we've got it set up in a mop sink. You see this? And I'm going to turn the water on, and it kicks on. Look at that, how pretty and clean. This water heater is six freaking years old. It's an instant water heater. It's only on its third set of batteries in six years. It takes two D-sized batteries. There's a little bit of, you know, wear and tear on it. But this water temperature right now is it's untouchable. <laughs> this is very hot. So um, it's running at about 120, 120, about 125. And off it goes as soon as you turn it off. And I have to set this on its lowest settings because I only have the one sink on it and it's real close to it. Um, we also have a shower that we run on it and it works perfect. We don't have no problem. So while we're in the construction phase, we're kind of bivouacking out of the shop and we have this set up so that we don't have to use the sink in the house way over on the other side of the property all the time. So like the kids come in here and eat, make a mess. And this is just an old mop sink. It's a mess. But what I'm wanting to show you in the video is the absolute durability. Now, yeah, it's in the shop. Don't worry. The exhaust gases, propane's not hurting us. We got, I don't know, 25,000 cubic feet for it to dissipate into. Um, you don't even smell it. This thing burns so damn clean, you don't even smell this thing running. It's absolutely amazing. I've seen a lot of these different brands. Here, I'll turn it back on, okay? You can hear it click and pop on. That thing runs so clean. Look at the flame in there. And it's a stainless steel. All the internals are stainless steel. Look at that. I got coffee splatters. I got the sticker here fell off. There used to be a sticker here like one over here. I don't know if it was a different color sticker. Um, it's been through the mill. It's traveled 1,500 miles. It's been used in an RV. It used in a shop building. It got used now here. And it's six years old. So if you want to buy something to save you a ton of money, because this thing here will run about three months on that. That's it. Little bitty barbecue pit bottle. You can't beat this. Now, if you want to use this for like a shower, you set this for a temperature most that you'd like. And then you just use the hot water. That's it. Um, trying to mix this with cold, you know, all that, it's not really a great idea. Does, any of these. This is the most effective one I've ever bought. Now, I've had Palomas. I had a Mari that we used for a little while. It died. All aluminum parts in it. This is all stainless. So, I just want to give you guys a six-year update. Yeah, I'm shy about you know, two weeks. Six-year update on this thing. Look at that. Look how clean it still is. See that? absolutely amazing that it has lasted this freaking long and you can see no corrosion i'll turn the camera uh, the light on if i can here um try to get that i don't know this is my own creepy phone here all right so you can look up in there try to get you some focus points there there's no corrosion there's no nothing and we've run this on some real crappy water look at the water hard water stains I do change out this little filter from time to time, and I do have a basic carbon filter on it. Always have. Uh, I don't know, it's 5 micron. Um, but I just want to give you guys an update, and I'll turn that stupid light back off, on this EcoTemp heater. They got lots of these out there, man. I mean, lots of them. There isn't very many that has the ability to last as long as this has. So when you spend uh, $145 and you buy one, and it's going to make a year. You spend, uh, I don't know, like 240 bucks on this one, 260 maybe, it's going to last you. Well, right now we're at six years, and I don't even see an end to it. It's the best one I've ever owned, and it is built well. So there's your specs there. See if you can read all of that. I'll try to get the glare on it there. All right, so there's the specs. I think that stupid light's still on. I turned it off four times and it's still on. So maybe it's just too dark in here. But this thing here is 
Um, we're run on 20 to 80, and right now it's running on about 17, 20 PSI, barely at the bottom of that, and still working just fine. So a little RV pump works great. Now, if you put these outdoors, they won't last. None of them will. But you can put this indoors, and actually, if you when you plumb it, if you actually call T-handle it, where you go up and you make a T, and you have one damper intake side and one damper out, outgoing side, and then you bring it out, it will work without getting cold air down it and freezing, okay? My design I did years ago for a couple of people up in Salmon, Idaho. So there you go, EcoTemp, absolutely impressive. Uh, my daughter, somebody commented on the video and asked me about these, and I said, you know what, I ain't done an update on this thing, and it's six years as of uh, May 3rd. This is 2016 when I bought this. This is old. So it's still running. Um, I know people that buy a $900 uh, Rude, whatever, R-U-U-D, or these other brands, and they don't make it any closer than this does. And they make an L12. I'll put a link below, okay? L7, L10, L12s. Honest to God, you don't need anything bigger than that unless you got a three-bathroom house, okay? It's impressive. It, this is perfect for a one-bath standard house with three to five people in it. Um, if you want to go, go in L12 if you got a two-bathroom for two bathrooms, okay? All right, guys, y'all take care. Just an update video. Thank <laughs> you.